Toby Glasses 2, the next generation wearable eye tracking tool from Toby, designed to enable easy, precise and efficient collection of eye tracking data in a wide variety of real world research scenarios. Today, I'm going to show you what comes with your Glasses 2 package, go through both how to set it up and make a recording, as well as an overview of the basic features of the Glasses 2 product itself. Okay, so let's look at what comes inside your box. You'll get one of these boxes with some other things inside. Remove the, all the packaging, take everything out of the box, put the box to the side. Inside, you'll have a carry case and a box full of accessories. First, we're gonna have a look at the carry case. Let's open it up. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here, so we'll zoom in so we can show it all to you a little bit easier. Okay, so we have the head unit itself, which comes with a clear plastic protective lens already attached. We also have a tinted lens in the case as well. This is the actual eye tracker with several sensors that track what the person wearing it is looking at. Always handle the head unit with care and keep it clean as it is a delicate measurement instrument. We also have the recording unit and underneath that is a HDMI cable. On the opposite side of the case, we have four rechargeable type 18650 batteries, four different size nose pads, three SD memory cards, a plastic calibration card, and a small section with a USB stick, head strap, cleaning cloth, and a cable cord clip-in. On the underside of the lid is a small section which contains a quick start guide. Inside the guide, you'll find everything you need to get started with the glasses too. Let's open your accessories box. Again, we're gonna zoom in so this is easier for you to see. In here, we have an Ethernet cable, an Ethernet to USB adapter, a couple of spare plastic calibration cards, 10 calibration stickers, a battery charger for your Type 18650 batteries located in the carry case. This charger comes with several different power adapters for different countries, the UK, the US, Australia and New Zealand, and the EU. It also comes with a car cigarette lighter plug power adapter so you can charge on the go. There's also a USB power adapter that can power your recording unit as well as charging the battery that's inside it. This also comes with several interchangeable plugs for the same countries as mentioned earlier. If you have the premium package, you'll have another box with a Windows Pro tablet in. This is designed to be used along with the Toby Glasses controller software. You can, of course, use any Windows powered tablet, laptop or computer to control the glasses to as long as you have the controller software installed. Please check the user manual to make sure your system meets the minimum system requirements. Before data collection, please make sure to charge all the batteries with the supplied battery charger. The batteries are fully charged when the display above each battery reads 4.2 volts and three solid bars are shown like this. Also make sure to prepare any SD memory cards you'll need. Now, to prepare your recording unit, we need to insert a fully charged battery into the recording unit's battery compartment. To do this, we need to rotate the battery cover counterclockwise to remove it, and then insert the battery positive end first, And finally, replace the battery cover and rotate it clockwise to secure it. Next, we need to install an SD memory card into the recording unit's memory card slot. To do this, we need to remove the rubber protector. We need to make sure the SD card's pins are facing towards the front of the recording unit, as shown here. Then insert the memory card. Okay, so now that we have an SD card and a charged battery in the recording unit, we can begin setting up for a recording. To do this, we're going to need the Glasses 2 head unit, the provided HDMI cable, the prepared recording unit, a nose pad, the cable clip, the head strap, a calibration target, a Windows tablet or computer with Toby Glasses controller software installed, and of course, your participant. Simona here has very kindly offered to be my participant for today to make it easier to go through the steps. Okay, we need to set up the head unit first. To do this, we must pick and attach a nose pad that will enable the glasses to, to sit naturally on your participant. There are different sizes in your carry case. If the nose pad you choose does not sit correctly or feels uncomfortable for the participant, simply change it with a different size. we need to get the HDMI cable and insert the micro HDMI end into the head unit. Then secure the cable in the clip on the arm of your head unit. We recommend using the head strap 
simply tighten it to ensure the glasses too do not move around or drop during the recording. Next, connect the other end of the HDMI cable from the glasses too into the recording unit. And attach the recording unit to the participant, usually on a pocket or belt. We provide a cable cord clip which can be clipped to close in order to stop the wire catching or moving about too much. Okay, so now that we have a participant set up with the Glasses 2 hardware, we want to get ready to make a recording. Please make sure that you've installed the Glasses controller software on whichever Windows powered device you're going to be using to control your Glasses 2. There are two ways of connecting your Glasses 2 to the Toby Glasses controller software. If you have the Live View package, you can only connect them via an Ethernet cable. To do this, please connect the Ethernet cable to your Glasses 2 recording unit and then the other end of the cable to the device you are using to control your Glasses 2. If you have either the Live View wireless package or the premium package, you can connect the glasses through the Ethernet cable or you can connect them wirelessly over Wi Fi. To connect via Wi Fi, you first need to turn on your recording unit. To do this, you must press and hold the power button for a few seconds or until the LEDs stop flashing. The network name of your glasses too will be the same as your serial number. The serial number is located on a sticker on the rear of your recording unit near the bottom as shown here. Make sure your Windows powered device has Wi Fi enabled and then locate your Glasses 2 in the list of available networks. Please allow up to two minutes from when you first powered on your recording unit for the device to appear in your network list. Now connect to your Glasses 2. The password is Toby Glasses, with no spaces, a capital T and a capital G. Once you have connected to your Glasses 2, please open the Toby Glasses controller software. You will be at the dashboard where any connected glasses will be displayed. Locate the glasses you wish to record with. Make sure that the memory and battery life are not low. These can be seen here. If you have more than one unit, you may wish to rename your unit. You can do this by clicking here on the settings button and then clicking rename glasses. Choose whatever name you wish and click save changes. Now we can click on start new recording. We must now either create a new participant or choose one we've used before. You can add any relevant info you wish to about the participant here. When finished, please click Create. You should now be able to see the Live View tab. Here, you can see what the scene camera on the Glasses 2 sees. You need a calibration card or sticker for your participant to view. Please ensure that the participant is placed between away from the calibration card. Instruct the participant to look at the center point of the calibration card, and then make sure you're getting gaze data indicated by the red circle. If you are not getting gaze data, adjust the head unit on the participant's head or change the nose pad. If you are getting gaze data, instruct the participant to continue looking at the center point until you tell them otherwise. If both of these are true, click the calibrate button. If you're not happy with your calibration, you can simply click on the recalibrate button as shown here to try again. Make sure the participant is looking at the calibration target before you start the calibration process. Once the calibration is successfully completed and you can see that accurate data is being received, you are ready to start a recording. To start a recording, simply click on the record button and make the recording. When you are finished recording, simply click on the stop button in the Glasses controller software. Once your recording has started, it does not matter if the recording unit becomes disconnected from the tablet or computer. You must, however, reconnect your Glasses recording unit to your computer to stop or pause the recording in the Toby Glasses controller software. During a recording, you will see a live video from the Glasses 2 in the controller software if the glasses are connected to your computer either by cable or by Wi-Fi. This feature enables you to view what the participant is looking at throughout the study. If you wish to play back any of your recordings that are on the SD card inside the recording unit, simply click on the relevant recording under the Recordings tab to view it. You can also delete recordings from here if you wish. You can also click on the Participants tab here to view a certain participant's recordings and information. To turn off the recording unit after you've finished your recording, press and hold the power button until the LEDs stop flashing. You can use your carry case as a portable table rest so you have a surface to place your tablet or device on during recordings. To convert your carry case into a portable table rest, simply make sure the shoulder strap is connected to the opposite corners on the carry case as shown here, then place it over your head like so. 
Please be careful not to tilt the carry case too much when using it as a portable table rest, as you may drop your device. Now that we have collected our data with Toby Glasses 2, we can analyze it in Toby Glasses Analysis software. Please install Toby Glasses Analysis software on the Windows device you intend to use the software with, and then open the software. The software has to be purchased separately, or it is included in the premium and subscription packages of Toby Glasses 2. You will need a valid license key to install the software, which you can find in the product purchase email. Firstly, we need to create a new project. Choose a name and where you want the project to be saved, and click on Create. Remove the SD memory card from your recording unit and insert it into your PC. We now find ourselves at the project dashboard. From here, we need to click on Import Glasses Recordings. Locate your SD memory card and click on the .ttgp file to import the data. Next, select which recordings you wish to import into the project by clicking the checkboxes next to the appropriate recordings. Once recordings are imported, I can show you the basic features of Toby Glasses Analysis software. These include a snapshot mapping tool, a visualization tool, an AOI tool, as well as metrics and data exports. Let's look at a replay of a recording to start with. To replay a Toby Glasses 2 recording with the gaze data overlaid, just double click on the recording in the recordings list. In the replay tab, click on the play button to replay the video. You can use the timeline and the replay control buttons to navigate in the video. In this view, you can also log interesting events that occur in the video, in this case, for example, when the person is interacting with the touchscreen recipe bank. Choose a name for the event you want to log. Choose what keyboard shortcut you want to use to log the event and click OK. As you can see, it is now in the list of custom events, but not in the events list. When the interesting event occurs in the recording, press the shortcut key to log the event. This creates an event in the events list. In this case, we would create an event for every time a participant starts interacting with the touchscreen recipe bank. Next, we'll look at the mapping tool. Open a recording that you have a snapshot for and would like to map gaze data to. Snapshots are still images of objects of interest, and by mapping gaze data onto a snapshot image, you can later use these to create visualizations and AOIs, or areas of interest. To import a snapshot, you can click on Snapshots, and then the Import Snapshot button here. Locate and select the appropriate snapshot and import it. Now we need to enable snapshot mapping by clicking here. Now you can see your recording and snapshot side by side. You need to find the point in time when your participant is looking at the snapshot. Now, to map your data to the snapshot, all you need to do is click on the snapshot image in the same place as the gaze data is shown in the video. Once you have mapped all the data onto a snapshot, move on to the Visualizations tool. To get the Visualizations tool, click on the Menu button and then click on the Visualizations tab. On the right-hand side, I will choose the snapshot we mapped to earlier. As you can see, by doing this, the software has automatically selected the recording that I mapped to this snapshot. On the right-hand side, we have some options for what type of heat map, the radius of the gaze plots, the colors used, the opacity, and the background. You will also see any snapshots that you have used in your project, as well as all your recordings listed in the data selection box. Edit these until you achieve what you're after. Then right-click on the image to save your image to a file with your visualization data embedded within. After you are finished, head back to the project dashboard. Now we can go into the AOI, or Area of Interest tool. In this study, we are trying to ascertain how much attention the interactive recipe bank is getting. So earlier, we mapped the gaze data onto the snapshot every time the participant interacted with the recipe bank, and now we can set up an area of interest for it. There are several drawing tools here, so you can create the correct shape for your area of interest. The AOI data will be used in the data and or metrics export. We will look at these next, so click back to the project dashboard when you're ready. Select the appropriate data for your project. The metrics tab looks the same, but with a list of different AOI-based metrics to choose from. As you can see, at the bottom here is the data field of AOI hit. So if we just export the event, timestamp, and AOI hit, we can see when the participant looked at the recipe bank. 
Of course, you can choose as many of the data fields or metrics as you wish. So we have gone through what comes with your Toby Glasses 2 package, how to set up and make a recording, as well as how to install and use the hardware and both the Toby Glasses controller and analysis softwares. Please consult the quick start guide located in your carry case or the user manuals on the USB memory stick for more information. For more helpful videos, support and information, please visit our website. Thank you for watching this Toby video. See you next time.